Okay, in this video we're going to look at differentiating a to the power of x. So we're going to look at differentiating expressions such as or equations such as y equals 4 to the x, y equals a to the x, and y equals x a to the x. Uh, before we do that, we need to know that the differential, if you've got y equals lin x, do you remember from uh, C3 that dy by dx would equal 1 over x? Okay, that's going to be quite useful for me to show you the proof. Okay, let's have a look at the proof now. Okay, so if we had y equals a to the x, uh, first thing, we don't like the x being on the power, so let's uh, bring it down, taking the logs of both sides, the natural logs of both sides. Um, the only time that you can differentiate whenever you get x on the power is whenever it's e to the x. So let's take logs of both sides, so you get lin, or natural log of y, equals natural log of a to the x. Let's bring the x down, so you're going to get lin, or natural log y, equals x, natural log of a. Okay, uh, now we can uh, we can just differentiate this. So by differentiating it, what you're going to get is um, so let's just differentiate this. So whenever you differentiate it, remember you're going to be differentiating this with respect to x. So we're going to it's going to be implicit. So it's going to be a differential of lin y is one over y dy by dx. Um, remember, lin a would just be a number that you're taking the natural log of a certain number a. So this is just a number. So this is the same as like, you know, differentiating 5x would be 5. So differentiating uh, lin a, x would just be lin a. Okay. Uh, the reason is, remember, this is just a number. So it's the same as differentiating something like 8x. So it would just be 8. So differentiating this is just lin a. Or lin a. So uh, what you do is you times by y. So you're going to get dy by dx would equal y. A natural log of a but remember that you've got y equals a to the x so that means that you can write dy by dx if you put this back into here you're going to get a to the x natural log of a okay so if I want to differentiate y equals 4 to the x looking at the standard result you're going to get dy by dx to be equal to 4 to the x times by natural log of 4. Okay. If you were going to differentiate some, something, for instance, like uh, y equals a third to the x, you would again would use the standard result, so you get dy by dx equals a third to the x times by the natural log of a third. Now, the natural log of a third, you can rearrange that, so you're going to get dy by dx to be equal to a third to the x times by natural log of 3 to the minus 1. Remember, you can bring the minus power down. I would just rearrange it slightly to get to bring the minus power down. We can be minus natural log of 3 times by a third to the x. Or you can prepare that natural log at the back. It's up to yourself. Okay, and finally, if I wanted to differentiate uh, y equals x a to the x, uh, first of all, we'll just split it as u and v. It's a product rule, obviously. Okay, uh, and then um, what I would do is u equals x, du by dx would equal, differentiating this would give you 1, uh, v equals a to the x, dv by dx equals um, a x natural log a. So putting it all together you would get u dv by dx plus v du by dx, so that would equal u is x dv by dx equals this, so it's a x natural log of a plus a v, which equals a to the x, times that, which is 1. So you're going to get plus a to the x. That's it.